Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video on Salesforce Gold. So guys, in today's video, I'll show you how you can use the UI related list API. So in today's video, I'll be creating separate component based on some examples on UI related list API documentation. And in those component, we'll be getting the count of related list, count of records in it, list of records in it. And maybe we can also have list of related list and we'll be also getting metadata about those related list. So we'll be having separate component for that just to demonstrate that functionality and example. So let's start today's video guys. I'm Kapil, your host, and you're watching Salesforce Bold. All right guys, let's start today's video. So guys, in this video, I'll show you how you can use the UI related list API. So there were multiple APIs like there was a specific API to get the count, get the related list info, get the info in batch, like for multiple related list, get related list records, get related list record batch, and get related list info. So there were multiple uh, record APIs were available there. So I have already created components in my org, and I will be just explaining the code, and I'll just letting you know like how you may use this, use these uh, UI related list APIs in your org and in your lightning web components okay so i have already created those components so let's go through them one by one okay so first let's start with get related list count so this is a uh, ui related list api which will return the related list count basically like how many records you are having in in that related list okay let me show you the functionality so this will be the output of it like using it you can just get the count of the uh, records in your related list but this is for a specific related list like you have to pass the related list name like in this case i have passed a, a contacts here so if you will see in my related list contacts i'm having two contacts here so that's why it is returning like count is two now let me show you the code ones okay so this is get related list count so for that first you need to import the get related list count api from ui related list apis okay and after that uh, it's a wired function so you have to pass the parent record id which is going to be in my case it is account it is the record id of that way so that's why it will be taking the accounts id in your case it could be anything like uh, for which record you need the related list count and underneath that you have to pass another parameter which is related list id so in my case it is contacts right now and underneath that i'm just binding the data in this response data parameter and on my html page on my html i'm just uh, displaying the response data dot count here so you just need to pass your related list id here let's suppose like if i will pass opportunity here let me check like first if i'm having records yes i'm having one record there so if i will pass opportunities and deploy it okay it is deployed let me refresh the page okay and here you can see like related list count is one so that's how you can get the data uh, get the number of records from a related list using this ui record uh, ui related list api okay let's move to next one so next one is get related list info so this is going to return the uh, information about the related list there are multiple things that can be retrieved using this ui record api like you can check like if this related list is deletable or maybe you can get list of columns field api names filter by info like if the list is having any filter by you can get label also you can get any list reference also so for this get related list info let me show you the functionality so this is the get related list info so for that you have to import this get related list info from ui related list apis and as in my case i'm just getting the information from my account object so that's why i have just imported it using schema okay and while wiring this function you have to pass the parent object api name which in my case is account and you have to pass the related list id so i have passed contacts here and also you can pass the record type id which is optional 
which is an optional parameter. So I'm not passing it basically. Okay. And in data, I'm just uh, fetching the display columns in it. Like, as I said, like you, you may get other things as well. Like if it is deletable, the labels, references in the list and also like API names and other stuff. So for this example, I have used the display columns. I will post the complete list of items that can be retrieved using this uh, using this uh, related list info API okay in my blog so you can just check it out there and in HTML I'm just uh, simply creating a loop of this display columns okay and I'm just uh, fetching the API name of that column so that's how we are getting the column names here of that related list which is like contact name title email and phone and same way if I will pass opportunities here so it will be fetching name of uh, opportunities column okay so as this was just for a single related list detail so the same way we are having another api which is like get related list info batch so like if you need to get multiple related lists info so you can get it using that api so this is the next example so here using the get related list info batch API, we have used a similar example to get the field API names. But here you will notice like we are retrieving field API names of contacts and opportunities both. Okay. Now let me show you how you can use this get related list info batch. So this is the functionality of get related list info batch. So for that you have to import the get related list info batch UI related list API and uh, as same as the previous example I'm, I have used the account object for that okay but while uh, wiring this function so in related list name you can pass list of related lists like in this case I'm passing contact opportunities let's suppose if I need something else like case and other related lists as well so I can just pass those names as well separated by comma okay so so yep, you just have to pass multiple names here and the same way we are just getting result and in the HTML thing first we are uh, creating a for each loop for results and we, we are having the API name as a key here then we are called then we are having another for each loop for to display columns of each related list because like I mean it is going to return multiple related list together first we will be creating a loop of related list then we will be having a loop of columns in that specific related list okay so that's how you may use this get related list info batch and uh, you can you can pass n number of related list here so it will be just uh, it will be just giving you a list of those related list okay okay let's move on to next example which is get related list info so using get related list info you can get the metadata about that related list okay like it, it is it is basically the same like we did for get related list info this is just get related lists info so you can you can get multiple related lists here like in this example get related lists info i have uh, i have retrieved the list of related list basically like how many related lists are there so i have just retrieved a list of those related lists okay so in my case like as the past object is account so that's why it is returning all the related lists like contact opportunity case activities activity history notes and attachment and partners and guys using this api you can also have like parent record type id it will also return the parent record type id and also parent object api name in the result okay now let me show you the javascript part of this uh, get related list okay I'm just where is the, <laughs> this one okay so for that you have to import this get related lists info okay this uh, this is a plural uh, list and the same way I'm just using the account object here and you just have to pass the API name of that object and you may also pass the record ID which is optional so I'm not using it in my case so here uh, from the retrieved data I'm just using the uh, name of the related list available for that specific object 
and in HTML I'm just displaying that name as a list okay so that's how you can use this get related list info also now the next is get related list record and this is very interesting guys so using this API this is one of my favorite APIs so using this API you can get the records uh, from a related list okay so using this API you can pass a single uh, related list or maybe if you need to get data from multiple related lists then you can also pass multiple names in this batch api the second one is the batch api and using this api guys you can get like count of records you can get fields you can get list info you can get page size and also like you you can also get the records as well so for this example i'm retrieving records of my contact related list okay let me show you the javascript part of it okay get related list record here it is so for that you just have to import the get related list records from ui related list api and you just have to pass the parent record id which in my case is the account id okay and then you have to pass the related list id which is contacts in this case and then you have to pass the fields that needs to be retrieved so i have passed like contact id and contact dot name you, you can pass like multiple field name as per your requirement okay then you can just simply bind the records directly from the retrieved data and on the html side i have just you know displayed those records based on the uh, based on the retrieved value so i have used the id as a key and in the value i am just displaying the name of that uh, uh, of the contact okay and guys the same way you can also have like multiple related lists like if you need to display the data from multiple related lists like i have done in this last example so here I'm getting data from account, sorry, from contacts and opportunities both. So there are three records, two are coming from contacts and one is coming from opportunity, which is getting hidden behind this image. Okay, apologies for that. So for that, you just need to pass a list of related list parameters uh, that needs to be retrieved using this API. So for that, you need to import the get related list record batch API first, okay. And then while wiring the function, the parent record ID will be your parent object ID. In my case, it is account ID. And then in related list parameters, you can pass like related list uh, ID that will be like contact and opportunity. You need to pass fields. And if you need to sort the data by a column name, so you can also pass that as well. And guys, there are other fields as well. Like let's suppose like if you need to add a where clause while retrieving the data. So let's suppose here I need to add a where clause. Okay. So you can simply add it like comma where okay. And so this is the syntax that you have to follow to call the where class so let's suppose name name like mm, let's suppose if I do test and so where name start with test okay okay Okay, so that's how you can also add the where condition and maybe if you need to add the sort condition also so you can also add that like this one like sort by if you need to retrieve the values by uh, maybe by name or maybe by amount so you can also do that and using this way you can also use the where clause in it. Okay, so guys uh, these were the examples from the official documentation for UI related list APIs. I will also share that documentation link in my blog post below and also guys i will be having the complete code of this exam of these examples on my blog which is salesforceworld.com so if you need to check the complete code or if you need to check sample code for a specific example so you can directly visit my blog which is salesforceworld.com and check the complete code there all right so that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed today's video if you like today's video subscribe to the channel will be awesome i'll see you in the next one Thanks for watching.